want to share a few thoughts with you about the change in the legal landscape as a result of the enactment of the Canadian Charter for Rights and Freedoms and Human Rights Codes. The Charter was enacted in 1982 and came into force in 1985. And what it guaranteed to every individual in Canada was the right to equality. And what the right to equality means, not the right simply to be treated the same, but the right to receive that which is appropriate to a person's individual needs. And so there is both a responsibility and a duty on the part of both service providers and employers to make sure that they have in place the appropriate policies and procedures which indeed will make sure that every individual receives the benefit and also the responsibilities of MSA under the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms and in respect to the human rights codes across Canada. And so it means that in, for example, in the workplace, that accommodation must be provided so that every individual has the opportunity to maximize the potential of which they're each capable of achieving. Now, the employer does have a limited responsibility in the sense that, or the service provider, in the sense that they aren't obliged to do anything beyond undue hardship, but that's a very difficult uh, uh, challenge to achieve. It therefore means that it's critically important that legal services are and advice are obtained in order to make sure that the policies and procedures which service providers and employers have in place are those which are in accord with the Charter. That is absolutely critically important because, after all, every individual is guaranteed his rights constitutionally by, by virtue of the uh, Charter. These rights can't be taken away except under very limited circumstances. And therefore, there's an absolute obligation in Canadian society by virtue of these enactments in order to conduct themselves whether it's a service provider or whether it's an employer, indeed to make sure that everybody gets both the protection and benefit of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms and the Human Rights Codes.